What's going on guys, my name is Embrace the Pace, and today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to use my off-season roster in quick games as well as in my league and my GM. This seems like it would be very simple, and it is very simple, but it's easy to miss, and I've had quite a few people ask me how to do it. So if you're having some trouble, hopefully this video will help you out. If you haven't downloaded my off-season roster yet, and you would like to or you want to learn more about it, check out some of the other videos I've posted this week. I've got a lot of information on it. It just came out the other day, and uh, I think you guys will really like it. So we'll go ahead and jump into this. First, I'll show you how to use this in exhibition games. So first, you click on Play Now from the main menu, and then you immediately click X again and click on Play Now. And then once you get into this team select screen, um, you don't really notice this right at first, but it does say in the bottom left corner, roster. And all you have to do is click triangle and it'll bring you to the roster picker screen. So um, it's actually my roster at the time of making this video hasn't reached the um, popular page yet because it's only got 8,000 downloads that came out yesterday. So um, depending on when you're watching this video, it may already be on this page. You may not have to search it. Otherwise, just go ahead and click triangle, search by online ID. Um, my online ID is embrace the pace. It'll pop up. And once you actually click on the roster to use, you'll notice, I'll just go ahead and click my local file here. Uh, you'll notice here in the middle of the screen, right under where it says June 24th, Wells Fargo Center, it says current roster. 2017 offseason with all rookies so that's how you use them in exhibition games also some of the rookies may not appear available in quick games because 2k uses only 13 active players on a roster uh, or 12 active players on the roster i believe either 12 or 13 and then there are a couple in reserve so basically if that happens just download my roster the normal way you would do uh, save the file and once you go into the file all you have to do is uh, go to the specific team you want to make a guy active hit r2 it'll bring up the rotations and you can scroll down here to the bottom as you can see jabari bird and kadeem allen on boston are in reserve so when you use this in quick games they're not going to be available all you have to do depending on you know obviously who you want to put in reserve say you want to play with kadeem allen um you know you'll just put him in and you'll take somebody else out and then kadeem allen will be available in the lineup so i've had a few people ask me about that as well that's unfortunate i wish 2k would just you know let everybody be available Available, but that is not the case so that's how you do it in exhibition games as far as my league and my GM it's pretty much exactly the same uh, for each of those so we'll just demonstrate on my league because that's what I recommend you play because my GM can kind of mess things up uh, with for a lot of cases there's just not very much freedom in my GM but you're just gonna go ahead and start up your new uh, franchise a lot of people are gonna be tempted to click start today do not click start today do not use the start today feature with my roster my roster is basically set up to simulate or i shouldn't use the word simulate because that might confuse some people i don't want you to simulate the season but my roster is set up to basically be the 2017 2018 seasons roster this is the roster that is going to be in 2k18 basically so i've already edited all ages to be one year older i've already edited all the contracts so basically just go into my league just click on my league or my gm um, and then again at the bottom of the screen it says use custom roster so just click click triangle from there do the same thing load up a roster um, and then you should be good to go so you just continue on with the rest of your setup and then once you get in um, to the actual calendar screen uh, what i recommend you do is when it prompts you to load a draft class i recommend that you load my 2018 draft class don't load my 2017 class because my 2017 class is obviously on the roster they just got drafted so load up the 2018 class always turn storylines off because that messes up a lot of stuff with the draft class um, and then you should be good to go so a lot of people might be bugged by this if you see the date in the kind of top left area right under the 76ers logo it says October 25th 2016 it's gonna say that but really this roster just treat it exactly like the 2017 season just treat it exactly as if it was just one year into the future because you'll go in here obviously all the rookies are already on their rosters like I said I updated contracts ages everything like that um, so just go through the season exactly as if this was the 2017-2018 season. So 
that's pretty much all you have to do to use this in my league and my GM as well as in play now games I'm just gonna go ahead and click on my GM just to make sure it is 100% the same as my league so we'll click on my GM once again there at the bottom it says use custom roster just click triangle go down load up your roster you may have to search for mine um, depending on when you're watching this video go through the normal setup uh, and you should be good to go so that's how you do it that's how you use the offseason roster in my league my gym as well as exhibition games i hope this helps some of you guys out if you needed the help once again if you haven't downloaded the offseason roster go check out some of the videos i posted this week all the information is on there and uh, i really hope you guys do enjoy the offseason roster and i will be updating it all throughout the offseason i really appreciate all the support thank you guys for watching and i'll talk to you guys later